That supplementary treaty now the British were offering to pay the Guatemalans 50,000 pounds. They weren't happy with 70, but they were prepared to pay 50,000 pounds. Now, in that supplementary treaty, there was a clause that said Guatemala has six months to get back to the British saying whether or not they will accept that 50,000 pound offer. Two years later, they got their Congress together after the war and approached the British and said, you know what, we're prepared to sign on to that supplementary treaty accepting the 50,000 pounds. Well, the British in a fedain fashion with might. I have been exonerated. You never read the article where it says six months, six months lapse. I know all you nothing. That is the genesis of the Anglo-Guatemalan monetary dispute. Now, how has that morphed today into the, what should I say, Guatemala's territorial, insular, and maritime claim to Belize? That is what is unfounded. Right? Guatemala claims to believe unfounded, and we will always argue our unfounded claim. But this document legitimizes it, legitimizes our unfounded claim. That is what is so wrong, brothers and sisters. We have done our research, and I would dare say more research than they did because they only res research what the British give to them. We have taken the time to look for where for we opponent want to bring to and for we opponent that want tight case against we. If we go under this, now, if we get rid of this, we opponent not got no kind of case against me. And we could go to the ICJ, or get my ICJ opinion as we decided in 2008 without exposing one blade of grass, I believe. You see? So, why would we not want to consider that option?